You supposed to be a proper 31 woman, no, that's what you said. That man misleading if he ain't spirit led. How is him that you feeding? He's supposed to be the head. Hey y'all, it's Percy back at it again with another video. I had just been doing reactions to TikToks, and one of them came up that I know will not only benefit me and expand my mindset, but it will benefit and expand you guys' mindsets as well. This TikTok compilation is called, What Was That One Sentence That Changed Your Whole Way of Thinking? Because I definitely want to react to this due to the fact that I've had sentences and quotes and Bible verses and memes I said memes, oh yeah, because they be coming in memes too, that I was like, I've never looked at it that way. Oh my gosh. And then my whole mindset and the way I think changes. It's crazy to me. Because again, stuff like this is the reason why I'm not the same person that I was six months ago, a year ago, 10 years ago. I keep evolving. I keep changing. I keep elevating. That's why people that knew me only knew my past. They don't know me because I'm constantly evolving. I'm constantly dying to myself. So I hope that this video does something for you guys. This is something to just expand your mindset, make you think different, make you move different, and make you walk different. Just want to just change for the better. But again, what was that one sentence that changed your whole way of thinking? Can't wait to get into this because I know they're going to drop some gems and I'm ready for it. But before I click this play button, I just want to say that if this is your first time seeing me on your screen, or you're a returning subscriber, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel because it's nothing but lit content like this. <laughs> On a consistent basis, my baby. Ooh, I'm happy, y'all. I'm happy. I'm happy. Um, I think with this TikTok, though, I think it's a song by Doja Cat. I might just mute from time to time because I don't want to hear it over and over. So I'll let the first one play and then after that, I'm going to mute it. So just let y'all know. That how you relate to money mm -hmm. is directly the same as how you relate to food. So, for example, mm -hmm. if you are a binge eater, you're probably a big spender. If huh. you have a cycle of like binge and restrict, you probably do that with money also. And mm. if you're always trying to ration your food, count calories, that sort of thing, you're probably a penny pincher. And the reason why food and money are like synonymous, the way right. we interact with them and relate to them emotionally, the reason they're the same is because they represent freedom and joy. If you allow yourself to have a healthy relationship with joy, you will have a healthy relationship with money and food. <laughs> Wow, that is so deep. Did y'all hear what she said? Money and food relate to each other, so how you eat is basically how you spend. Oh, that is... Alright, I'm, I'm done. I guess I'm gonna keep muting that. I don't wanna hear that. If there's something you are insecure about and you feel like people are gonna judge you for it, this is the sentence you need to tattoo in your brain right now. I promise it has helped me change my life. Every time I feel insecure, which I still do, I mean, I'm human, um, I go back to the sentence and it's just like, oh, no, nothing matters. Put me on. Pen and paper. Those who mind don't matter. And those who matter don't mind. Dr. Seuss quote, that's how you know it's good. And those who... Pen and paper. Hold on. Those, those who mind don't matter those who mind don't matter and and those who matter don't mind bro this tiktok gonna change my life <laughs> those who matter, don't mind dr seuss quote that's how you know it's good i'm done i love it i love it only two videos in someone on tiktok actually taught me this but it's just stuck with me let someone else say no to you and ever since, I've been applying it to my whole life and it's worked. So basically, if you're second guessing that, you know, applying for that job or if you're thinking, you know, oh my God, should I ask this person out? You should basically just go for it. And because the worst thing they can say is no. Technique, um, the only person holding you back is yourself. Yes. So give it a go. I love it. Oh, I love this video. This is probably my favorite video. This is probably my favorite video. Whatever time of day you wake up is morning for you. 
Okay. In other words, trust the timing of your own life. Huh. Okay. All right. <laughs> Time is an illusion. You look around the circle of people that you surround yourself with, mm -hmm. and you don't feel inspired. You're in the wrong circle. You don't bro. have a circle. Oh! Oh! You in a cage! Crazy! I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, this is what completely changed my life and made me so much more peaceful. Every event, everything that happens to you is completely neutral. So whether it's waking up late for work, a breakup, losing a job, it's all neutral, and your thoughts decide what it really is. If you decide okay. today's going to suck, then it's going to suck. If you go in and go, no, I'm going to grind so much harder than I did yesterday. My boss is going to forget that I was late, then they will. If you take the lessons from your last relationship and, you know, grow and then implement them in your next, then it's going to be the best relationship yet, you know? But you have to realize the power that you hold where you control your own thoughts. You control them. So direct them positively and your outcomes will be positive. Your thoughts create your emotions. Your emotions create your actions and your actions create your outcomes. So recognize the power that is in here, recognize and take back all the power that you give to these people or situations and thrive. Y'all know I gotta speak on it. Hold on. Y'all know the quote I just, so for those that don't follow me on Instagram and Snapchat, you're missing out. You are completely missing out. Because I go on there every Monday and I do a motivation Monday. And basically in my motivation Mondays, I speak on stuff that's going to motivate, that's going to uplift, that's going to grow, that's going to make you change your mindset on things. Because we're all stuck in the negative mindset. We all have been stuck. Now it's time to change that mindset and change for the better. So a few motivation Mondays ago, I said, if you don't like something, just take away its only power, your attention. So with that being said, like she said, you, we have the power to control our thoughts and our mind. And if you said today's going to be a bad day, today's actually going to be a bad day. But if you change it and you say that if today's going to be a good day, today's going to be like this, today's going to be like that, then it's going to be like that. Cause the thing is negative things can happen, but you're so focused on the positive. Like, like for example, let's just say, let's, let's think of the worst car crash. You're in a car crash, but you're still here. You get what I'm saying? So instead of you focusing on, oh, my car got totaled or I can't, I got to take the bus to work. At least you're still here on this earth, which means you're given another opportunity to change your life for the better. And then on top of that, yeah, okay, you, you're carless, whatever. You, there's, there's options. You, you probably can take an Uber. You can take a bus. You're not dead. You get what I'm saying? So it's thinking of the positive because you could have died. I just don't know any other way to say it, but I hope you guys understand we have the power. So when you give things power, I mean, I'm not, I'm not mean today. Y'all, y'all get what I'm saying. But like I said, just, just take away your attention because that's what, uh, the quote basically that I said. In other words, I'm not going to repeat myself because y'all heard it. I'm not going to kill Girl, I really don't want to hear this over and over. Everything you hear she is back. an opinion, not a fact. Mm. Everything you see is a perspective, not the truth. Mm. Bro, this song is so... It's not annoying. It's like just... that nobody gives a fuck about you as much as they give a fuck about themselves. You will literally be free. You'll be free from embarrassment. You'll be free from other people's opinions, insecurities, and all of that shit. The way that people view you and the way that people treat you is a reflection of the way that they view and treat themselves. Everything is projection. Everything is a social construct. Nothing is real and everything is fucking fake. You're your own worst critic. Don't listen to what anyone else says about you. Facts! Facts, facts, facts. Stop taking advice from people who do not have what you want. I hope you heard that. Because I'm, you're not going to sit here and take advice on how to be rich on somebody that hasn't even touched $10,000. You're not going to sit here and take advice from a woman about a child when she's not even a mother. It's unrealistic. It is so, you're not going to sit here and take advice on how to make a YouTube channel or how to grow a YouTube channel for somebody that doesn't even have a YouTube account. Do you see what I mean? So stop taking advice from people that aren't doing what you need the advice for. Y'all not hearing me. You're so busy doubting yourself while there are other people who are intimidated, intimidated by, by your potential. potential. I know that one. I know that one. I don't dread me. I know that one. Humble. People with half your talent claiming victories. Mm. Stop waiting. Mm. Claim yours. 
Mm. These are some deep quotes, bro. Have this version of yourself for once, so slow down and enjoy it while it's here. Oh. <laughs> she ain't never had to be that deep, though. Like, one hair quitter. Clothes on your body do not make up the outfit that people see. Instead, your true outfit is how you treat people and how you handle yourself. It's your insides that matter way more than your outside. Okay. I hear you. If you can control it, why worry about it? If you can't control it, why worry about it? Ha! I completely look at life in a different way since I heard that phrase. Because, like, if I can't control it, why on earth would I stress about it? Like, why would I even worry about That's it? That's not and true. if I have control over it, I wouldn't worry about it anyway. That's so like, true. I can change it or I can control it. That is I don't so need true. Stress about it. So, just something to think about. Mindset. I'm gonna let it play out. I'm, I'm tired of clicking the pause button. How you make your money is more important than how much money you make. How you make your money is more important than how much money you make. Hmm. Okay. 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 Our pain doesn't get smaller. Our lives get bigger. I have two. Comparison is a thief of joy. Boundaries are the distance at which I can love you and me at the same time. Oh! You can move to a new city. You can change your looks, change your hair, change everything about you. But the one thing that will follow you is your character. Hello. <laughs> not stretch this video up to eight minutes oh i mean get your coin in okay i see y'all oh <sighs> what was that one sentence that changed your whole way of thinking my question to you guys is was there one in here that kind of made you be like oh dang i'm kind of thinking a little different now do you guys have a sentence or a quote that you guys go by that has changed your way i want to hear it i want to know about it i want to expand my mindset please put whatever that quote, that verse is in the comment section down below so that I can see it. Because again, stuff like this helps me. I was not thinking the way I was thinking years ago. If you were to tell me I would be thinking like this, I'd be like, there ain't no way. Like, there's no way. Thinking like this has changed my life for the better. Oh my gosh. And then on top of that, incorporating the Bible, walking the Torah, following the law, statutes, and commandments. Ephesians 6 and 12. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing. Look, what? What? Oh, man. And I know if I'm living like this and I'm in shalom, I know you guys can live like this and be in shalom. Because why would you want to sit there and be in sorrow and depression and, and anxiety? That's not the way to live, if you ask me. I wouldn't want to live like that. But being in shalom and peace positive just everything is just go with the flow it's just smooth and chill that's the lifestyle i mean who would not be wanting to run for that again what was that one sentence that changed your whole way of thinking mine was uh for sure that kind of woke me up was just thinking positive so the one i told you guys about like with the car situation and and then also the other one that woke me up is uh stop taking advice from people that aren't doing what you're asking the advice for in other words i know i'm manipulating or, i mean not manipulating i know that i am warping what that sentence said but that's the only way that i can remember it stop asking for yeah again stop asking for advice from people that aren't doing what you need the advice for it's just it no that's like asking a science teacher about sports you know what i'm saying that's like asking an athlete about cooking do you see what i mean the, how they don't go hand in hand that's just what it is but please let me know in the comment section down below because i'm so interested in what you guys uh 
your, you guys' one sentence that changed your life. But I love and appreciate each and every single one of you guys. Please go ahead and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you want to see next in the comment section down below. All my social media is in the description. It's also right here as well, just in case you missed it. 600K is on the way, and that's all I got to say. But y'all know me. Y'all know I'm not touching my face. Y'all know what I'm about to say. Have a blessed one. I'll see you in the next one. Your girl is out.